Hi, my name is Ty Tessman, and this is the sixth video in the series on how to get the most out of your Nitro engine. Uh, the camera does have a little bit of trouble picking up the different pitches and tones of the Nitro engine, but hopefully you guys can hear it well. We're going to be um, we're going to be talking about the how to tune. I'm going to be showing you, so we're going to be going back and forth through that to try to get you the most information possible. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my engine is warm, and by that I mean I'm going to use a head heater, Portek head heater, for this to get the engine warm. I do this in every in temperatures below uh, 22 Celsius or 72 Fahrenheit, um, just to make sure you get the engine warm before you even start turning the engine over to start it. This is very important to do, especially with new engines. I highly recommend it. Uh, it saves a lot of life in the cold starts. Uh, it just makes it's just easier on your engine when you used to go to start it. So the head heater's been on there quite a long time. The engine's nice and warm. So then I'm going to go and start the engine and make sure I warm it up completely to around 200 degrees before I even start tuning it. So I'm just going to use the throttle to warm it up. And once it's tuned, we're going to, or once it's warm, I'm going to work on the top end tune first. So what I'm going to be listening for is the high pitch on the engine, the, right at the full throttle. That's what I'm going to start with first. <laughs> Hopefully you could hear the tone difference in the engine. Um, as you can see, as in between making adjustments, leaning it out, um, I would rev the engine to kind of clean it out and make sure I got the new fuel mixture in the engine before I went for the, the check. Like every time I get full throttle, I would check it and then adjust it, give it a couple pumps just to clean it all out, and then check it again. So uh, hopefully you could hear the difference. So next I'm going to do the bottom end, and I'm going to hit the throttle and clean the engine out to do that. And then I'm going to wait, hit the brakes and wait five seconds and I pull the throttle hard. And in five seconds, I want the engine to not load up at all. I want to just get the throttle clean and have no blow up. Um, in between these steps, I'm heat reheating the engine, but you don't need to do that if you're gonna be running the engine and tuning it all at once. So this is just for the video, but that's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so hopefully you could hear the difference from when I started to when I ended with the, the low end. 
Um, you can see it cleared out a lot faster as I leaned it up. Um, and again, I'm only doing one hour at a time, so make sure you do little increments as you're going, just kind of creep up on it. And even at the start, you saw it died. Um, try to refrain from turning the idle up, because most of the time it's just the low end that needs to be leaner. So that's kind of what I did, and you can see it, it stayed running, and it got better towards the end. Okay, so next, I'm going to work on the mid-range, and this can be one of the trickier ones to deal with and to figure out properly, but it's also very important for on-track performance. Uh, basically, it's right after the bottom end, like right at the first to pull, and then from there to full throttle is uh, kind of the mid-range, middle of the, the power band. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to clean the engine out again, and then I'm going to pull the throttle real slow all the way through the power band, and it should be a nice, even, like, climb in RPM. It shouldn't have a bog, or it shouldn't be really lean, so you'll see that when the video comes. So hopefully you could hear again the tone difference from when I started to when I ended. I was just leaning the mid-range an hour at a time, and through the middle of the power band is where you can really hear that, that crisp, clean, uh, linear kind of power band that you want. Uh, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. Uh, if you're ever at the track, don't hesitate to come and ask uh, me or my dad for tuning help. We're always happy to help you. Um, it's better in person to do that because you can hear firsthand. You can explain as you have questions as well. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.